and it's go it's go and here we go then and a good start there from so a brilliant start from Simon Shift and he's flying through already and Simon Shift has got the barrel line it's two one and he's going to take the lead Murphy's going to go around the outside and uh, what's going on in the foreground Farfish just keeping an eye on them in the background and oh we've got a Renault off already that's Claude who um, had a bit of a lunge I think and then you can see then it's uh, coming down, down into um, down into the second corner Grand Boy taking it very cautious as well Simon Shift and lead second position is uh, Murphy third is Farf Jonathan Cox is up to fourth good stuff Hunter is fifth at the moment and Hunter is all Ooh, Hunter's having a good look there, but uh, oh, there's a bit of contact there between Hunter and Jonathan. And uh, he's forced Jonathan wide. Uh, Mr. Elite is sixth position at the moment, and seventh position is Nolsey. He's dropped down a couple position there. Oh my gosh, they were all getting very close together, aren't they? And uh, yeah, oh, Mr. Elite there going on. John and you can see we're just on board with um, Nolsey at the moment. It's um, all sorts is going on. Yeah, it's, uh, Bowden and McVicious are battling at the moment. Um, it's been a four. Oh, it's, it's been a very clean start, but Bowden has gone into the side, and that's also a force in your friend. So it's gone into oh my gosh. It's going to the side as well. Oh, and that could now break him down into turn 11 and 12 position there. Unfortunately, Renzo, our first retirement of the race then. As you can see then, you can see Nolsey is just pushing Mr. Elite, isn't he? Through, um, where's... Nosey's gone! He's gone! I'm not sure what happened there, but Nosey is gone and he's in the barrier. We just wanted to see where Nosey had gone and unfortunately he's, he's gone into the barrier there and he's spun around and he's damaged his front wing. That is a big blow for Nosey. And in the background we've got Exile and Claude battling for 15 and 16 position. Because now they're all bunching up. The safety car lights are off. That means we are going to get ready to go. As um, you can see Murphy in second below. Unfortunately, the um, issues between McVicious and Granty is going to cost uh, Tyler, and we are back racing then. As um, are we? Oh no, we're not. Silent Shift and hasn't gone. He is broke, and I think that that's damage, isn't it? Farf has got a severe collision on Murphy as well. Severe collision with Gunnar as well on Mr. Elite, and um, he went, and then he didn't go, and that's going to cost him. Jonathan Cox is now going up to the inside. Is that damage on the? Is that going to be damage on the? Um, oh, Ferrari's gone wide. Is that, da is that damage on Murphy's car? As um, you can see, they're battling side by side, going into turn at three. Then there's um, they're coming out now. Silent shifting. I think uh, um, is that for I'm trying to see if there's damage. Uh, I don't think there is damage, but um, so a very good reaction there from Mur Murphy. As all oh, hand far for far has got a five signal hill that might come back to haunt him later on. So um, as uh, you can see, we got all we got all sorts going on behind here. Elite. We got Lightning Racer who's gone wide because on the inside is Gunnar. Gunnar's having a good look. We've also got Grange Boy on the inside of McVicious. Oh, McVicious is going to steer. Great, um, great awareness there from Granty though. Good stuff. Granty is now up into oh, he's up into ninth position then, and uh, of course he's on the horror compound tire and he is flying through the field like a knife through Baron going very wide there, and also all over the back is broke. Uh, is broke Grillers all over the back of McVicious. Brook Grillers is trying to get some first points of the season. Um, just giving himself a bit of a turk. A kiss there as uh, Bowden is just 12 fish and nosy up to 13. Um, oh, and um, George Russell there causing all sorts of issues with Exile. You know, uh, Silent Shifton has got an 8 10 for the second gap at the moment. He's trying to break that gap at the moment. Uh, as uh, you can see, then we've got um, st this is usually oh, five sec. Whoa, that's a big accident. That's a major accident. I'm not sure what happened there, but um. Broke Gorilla come, was coming through the hairpin backwards there and, he's and then I think he made contact with Elite as well, I'm not sure. Hunter has gone in the pits, Hunter is in the pits, is there damage on the Hunter's car? Look at this, look at the first four here, absolutely fantastic stuff and there's battles up and down the, up and down the field at the moment. As you can see uh, Jonathan Cox there just hanging back and then we had, a, we had an epic battle didn't we? Between uh, Farf and um, between Farf and Twan back in uh, Bahrain, so it's not Gorbin, Farf's, Farf hasn't got his own way, and even though it may look like it in the championship standards, but it's been anything but as uh, you can see then oh my gosh and uh, oh what's going on here and I'm I think Bowden oh Bowden's going very well because Bowden is very um <laughs> I must admit it's definitely robust in his defending isn't it and also he's just keeping an eye and seeing what's going on here and uh, oh and now uh, Exile is back up into ten is up into ninth position Exile's doing a good job if you remember he started 17th on the grid he's now up into ninth good stuff from Exile but you can see Bowden there he's got momentum hasn't he he's got the soft compound tower and he lunges into turn one there oh Oh, oh, a bit of contact there, a bit of understeer there. He's all ru oh, rubbing wheels into turn one and two there. But um, Exile should have the uh, momentum into turn three. Hunter's got the fast level of the race on the hot, uh, medium compound tyre. What's going on? Uh, we can't, we couldn't see anything there, but... Um yeah, now uh, Bowden is having an absolute uh, almighty scrap. Granted, boy is now all over the back of Mr. Elite. This then, uh, as uh, Mr. Elite's got very good top end speed on that Alfa Romeo, isn't it? And uh, I think it's causing Granted, boy, a couple of issues trying to get by. Gunnar is still seven for the moment. Good stuff from Gunnar. Oh, look at this. He's just trying to push him around the final corner there. Uh, Elite is. Um, whoa! Big, and we just caught the end of that in exile. 
I'm not sure if Exxon and Lange Racer, Exxon and Lange Racer might come together. Granted, boys up at the fifth position to fulfill the rules. Where's Murphy? There's Murphy's going to be dropping behind Jonathan here. He has dropped behind, so that hasn't worked at all for Murphy. He has dropped behind. So, um, yeah, the undercut didn't work at all. It, was, um, it looks like the overcut might be a bit more powerful around here. Mr. Elite is up into eighth position at the moment. Hunter is up into seventh. We've got Yo Flag in sector three. Well, we've got Yo Flag in three. Oh, that's why McVicious has gone into the wall. And uh, he's just recovering now then. So McVicious had come into the wall. Um, he's become a ghost. We're just keeping an eye on them. Um, keeping an eye on this battle here between that uh, non-tenth Gunnar again. Um, showing them. Uh, oh, look like you're racing. They're going very wide there. But he's got momentum. And he, he's gaining, gaining, gaining. Oh, no, he's going to go on the outside in turn one. This is going to be a mega, isn't it? And he's going on the outside. Oh, big accident. That is a huge accident. It's turn one. He has damaged his Ferrari. And it, where's Gunnar? Gunnar comes with that one of both cars are damaged. That was a huge accident, and that's an end plate gone, isn't it? Bowden is now right behind. And, um, oh dear, <laughs> see, it was a very tricky maneuver, wasn't it? When we're, uh, I'm one, I don't think Gunnar's got any damage, has he? Uh, let's take a look. I think he has, actually. Sorry, yeah, he does have both cars have damage. The end plate's gone, and that might. Oh, and Laggy Racer just lunging in there. And, um, oh, that was, a, that was a bit vicious there from Laggy Racer, wasn't he? He's damaged his front wing. And uh, he is, um, and unfortunately, um, they're just uh, thinking he might be a bit upset about uh, what happened in turn one there. Oh, what's going on here? I don't know. Oh, and Laggy Race has gone very wide. Oh, no, that's getting very messy as well. Laggy Race there dropping. It's gone down to 11th position now. Gunnar, is he going to come in the pits? No, he ain't. He's staying up. And Laggy Race is in the pits. So Hunter's in the pits as well, in the house. So he's coming out of the pits now. And where is he coming out? Nolsey's out in 7th position. So Nolsey is seeing this. Hunter is be oh and Bowden now up into eighth position. Gunnar is down to ninth. Then Hunter is tenth. Then we're on board, Jonathan, because you see in the background. Look at that. There's there's a Ferrari, a very menacing little Ferrari as well, isn't it? Of uh, Dan Murphy. He is gaining, 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 gaining. He is gaining. That is a lot of power in that Ferrari. He's going. He's trying to retain the place that he lost in the um in the pit stops. And Murphy's through, but uh, Jonathan's trying to get for the switch back here. Not quite. And uh, we've all of a sudden it's, got, it's come a bit overcast, hasn't it? At the moment, so uh, Murphy now up into um, I'm into fourth position. Oh, Jonathan going very wide there. You love DRS, but he's got our momentum coming up to the line. There's Silent Shift and there's still in third position. Oh, Jonathan doing a very good job, isn't he? Silent Shift's all over already. Although the back of um, Bowden, Bowden has been very, <laughs> is a very robust driver, isn't he? In terms of defence, it's great to watch. Hunter in the car 22, Bowden in car 69 of the Mercedes. And um, just having a look as he sees all over the back of um, Bowden. He's going, ooh, this is going to be a good move. That's a great move. That's a brilliant move. And he's through and he's up into eighth position, Hunter is. So um, Hunter now back up to eighth position. Then, of course, Hunter shouldn't need to stop again. Um, when are the question is, when is Far from Granty Boy going to come in? They're still, they've gone around for another lap, I think. So, um, and you can see Granty Boy is really starting to reel in. It's now down to five. So, got Yell flagging free. Why, why, we got Yell flagging free. Just having a look to see where. Oh, oh, that's why, um, and, oh, and, oh, and Gunnar's out of the race. I'm not sure what happened there, but he damaged his front wing. I wonder if that's contribute, uh, contribute to what happened. But Gunnar is out of the Chinese Grand Prix. He'd be disappointed with that because Gunnar was in a very strong position. But uh, Farf is in the pits now. And uh, how much time is he going to lose? Is he going? Is the five-second penalty also going to be applied? That is the question. I think he is. Look out. He's very cautious coming in the pits. Now. That's going to cost him time as well. Silent Shifting is coming in. Is going to be through. And Silent Shifting is now four seconds. The gap is 4.2 seconds over Murphy. And look at Murphy getting very squirmish in the background there. Silent Shifting takes the lead. And you can see that now they're getting now they're um, now they're applying and now they're out of the pits. Far and Jonathan's in the pits. Jonathan has got damage, I think. And that is and Granty Boys on the podium. You can see then so Granty Boys on the podium. Farf is down the fourth. Jonathan's in the pits. He has damaged his front wing. This is major. This is a major blow. This is the day when Farf was struggling. He would have outscored Farf, but Jonathan unfortunately is having to come into the pits. And look at look how much time he's losing. He's um what tires are gonna go on? He's um gonna go on the and Hunter's through as well. Bowden's gonna get through, I think, as well. He's on the medium tires. I think he should have gone to the soft tire there, um, Jonathan did, but that is a big blow for Jonathan, isn't it? He's going. It's going to be a very close between himself and Bowden. He's out of the pits now. Bowden is through. There he is. But so Jonathan has dropped down to ninth position. This is not what Jonathan needed, is it? Um, he's second in the championship. Oh, that was brilliantly done from Jonathan, isn't it? He's back through already. Silent shift and needs probably four point six seconds. Then Granty boy, it's only six seconds away from Dan Murphy. Dan Murphy might be a bit worried by that. Um, and a bit surprised as well. So um, far, it's only fourth, isn't it? 
I'd say only fourth, but um, of course, remember, it's, um, it's a start to the season been phenomenal from start to finish. We're starting to shift now, coming around the final turn then for the final time, and he is going to win his first ever race in the ALR. Phenomenal stuff, phenomenal stuff. Brilliant. Silent shifting wins the Chinese Grand Prix. Fantastic on his return. Um, Dan Murphy finishes second for Ferrari. Uh, third position granted. Great drive from near the back of the grid. Farf, this is the first time we haven't had Farf on top of the podium today. He is fourth, but um, still, I think he's extended his lead in the championship, though. 